but I'd spoken to a couple other outdoor gear companies and tried to get them to start a line of workwear for women and no one jumped at it. And one guy said, if you're serious about it, why don't you start your own company? So at the age of 25, I very naively said to myself, start a business, how hard could that be? <laughs> and little did I know. I bought a copy of Small Business for Dummies. I was reading it down at the Leaf and Bean coffee shop and a man noticed my book and we got to talking and it turned out for the past 20 years he had done production and design for a little company called Patagonia. So it was a very fateful day. Took me to his office a week later and he gave me loads of contacts and advice and he just said, Sarah, you're onto something big here now and I think you should move forward on this. And he's been one of my top mentors to this day and he's still on my board of advisors. <laughs> As I started growing, I literally would have a uh, a staff meeting every Monday morning with Nellie, my dog, and Magpie, my cat, and I would put it on the calendar and say 10 a.m. staff meeting Monday morning just to give myself some structure and routine in my work life. I was packaging every single pair of pants and I was going into every trade show and just close down the shop and, and go on the road and meet every single customer face to face or on the phone. I felt for years like I wasn't successful in business because my I wasn't making a lot of money, hardly any. But when people ask me about my success, I said, yes, I have pants that fit, and I'm providing jobs in rural Montana, and I have great community relations, and I, I've been able to bring some money into this town just through the festival. And you know, there's so many things that I, I look at and say, yes, of course we're winning, you know, we're successful. What I've been doing as far as just the books, then they would say, oh, this is a straggling little business. But I think there's a lot of value in rethinking how we define success in the business world.